Hey guys, Monkey here, bringing you a bit of an extension video on a previous tutorial on permissions. Um, I know a lot of you have been kind of confused on how to set up the groups.yml and the users.yml, so I decided to make a quick little video here on uh, how to make these files. And I'm pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a standard groups.yml file for you guys, and I'll try and see if I can't put a link to a download or a download link in the description so you guys can possibly download it if not you're just gonna go have to copy it from this video here uh, and uh, go from there and then I'm gonna show you how to make a user in the users.yml so anyway let's start with the groups.yml simply uh, type in groups colon for the first thing and space down or enter down and now you want to space out four times so one two three four this is where the first name or first group is going to go, so I'm just going to make it default. Um, all right, and then you know, enter down again, type out uh, eight spaces now. So one, two, three, four under the D. One, two, three, four. All right, here you're going to type in default and colon. All right, now obviously, since the group is called default, you're going to want it to be default. So go ahead and type in true there. All right, now space out eight times again after you enter down again, and type in info colon. All right, once you do that, enter down again. Nothing needs to go next to info. You're gonna space out twelve times now. So go under info, like that. Okay, that's eight. One, two, three, four. Under this colon here, or right next to it, whatever you prefer. And then uh, type in prefix colon apostrophe apostrophe after you space okay so make sure there's a space in between there and then do the same thing for suffix so suffix colon space apostrophe apostrophe all right now type uh, space over 12 more times and type in build here you're going to give them permission to build default uh, because we're doing just a standard uh, groups.yml i'm going to type in false because that's how most servers do it um, but if you want to give them permission hell go ahead um, alright, and uh, before I keep going guys, I want to make sure you guys uh, understand that my mic is currently not working, so I'm using my de built-in default mic, and you will hear me spacing, typing in the keys, you might hear a little bit of an echo, you might hear the fan a little bit, I apologize, I'm trying to get them fixed, and you're just going to have to live with what I got right now. So anyway, uh, let's continue, um, look, next thing is inheritance. So type in inheritance, make sure it's spaced out eight times, just like in uh, info in default. So to check that, you can just go up and down on the arrow keys like I am here, and that's eight spaces. So now, if you want to give them inheritance, you can, uh, but I mean, default is default. That's the lowest it can be, so there's nothing it can inherit. So go ahead and just type in permissions under that. And this is where your permission nodes are going to go. So under the P, you're going to type in a dash and then your permission node. Now, a lot of you were kind of confused on where to find these permission nodes. Simply go to any plugin here. Let's just click on this one. And hopefully this isn't too confusing. Um, but let's see here. You're going to want to look around in this page, and it should have something. Maybe I chose an unlucky one that doesn't have. <laughs> Uh, permissions in it. Hold on. Ah, shit, it doesn't. Or it might not. Let's see. Does it support permissions? Doesn't look like it does. Okay. Some some plugins don't even support them. I don't know why, but they should. But some don't. So let's go ahead and choose one that I know has permissions. Um, let's go to. Ah, uh, I can't even think of one. Uh, let's go to Heroes. I bet this has something. All right, so go down. Permitted permission skills. Okay, scroll down a little bit here. Here we go. All right, this is what we're looking for. Permissions. All right, these are nodes right here. All right, so you can look at all these. You can give a separate thing to every single group and whatnot. But if uh, but if you want, say you want all these permissions. Uh, for a group, you simply type in hero dot classes and an asterisk because this will give them. Actually, this will only give them this, and that's it. Uh, if you want them to get every, or that'll give them all the classes. <laughs> I should know that, but uh, 
if you want them to have all the heroes permissions you simply will type in heroes dot asterisk so that'll give them everything so let's just go in and uh, give you an example here hero reset I don't know why you want to give default this but that's what it, that's what you do with the permission node you simply will paste it in space out once from the uh, uh, dash there and that's where the permission node is so now default will have heroes dot reset as long as you have the permission in your uh, or that plugin in your plugins folder if you just put in the permission it won't recognize it and it will just kind of reject it so I'm not gonna put that in because I don't have that or that uh, uh, plugin but that's how you pretty much that's where you'll find the permissions and that's where really what I was trying to get at there I wasn't trying to show you how to put in a permission that's pretty easy but uh, <laughs> so anyway guys once you get the default down once you get that first group down it's really easy from here on out so simply go ahead and just copy all this and you're gonna wanna just go down and paste it in alright now you're just gonna make some minor tweaks uh, because I'm making a standard one I'm just gonna go on with builder here and default obviously not because we already have a default and that is the default class uh, prefix again for colored names and uh, colored uh, text if you have hero chat or iChat or one of those chat plugins um, build obviously because it's a builder you want to give them permission to build and inheritance if you obviously I don't have any permissions in default but if, since it's the lower class give default the or give builder the inheritance of default here <clears throat> so now any uh, permissions or commands inside of default will go to builder automatically so you don't have to copy those into the permissions here and then simply put the uh, dash under p and type in all your permissions and whatnot and easy as that so now we'll go ahead and just copy over this again and we're gonna go down and make sure you have your freaking your class name in here hold on guys there we go you always gotta name a class name can't leave that out and then let's name it moderator because you always want to have a moderator someone that doesn't have complete control but has a few admin uh, permissions that way it can watch over the server for you when you're not on so default false uh, prefix suffix if you want to include those build true inheritance uh, let's just add in builder here since it's a level up and all the permissions you want to give them alright now copy that enter down control V <laughs> paste it in alright and now here goes your admin position this is where the head honcho will go alright so obviously everything here is fine the way it is permissions because it's admin, unless you want to have a higher class called owner, in this case I'm not going to do that, but if you want to have, um, if you want the admin to have complete control over all commands and have access to everything, you type in dash space apostrophe asterisk apostrophe. That is everything. That's everything that the admin, that everything in the server can be accessed by the admin now. Uh, if you have the ops deal or the uh, ops uh, uh, ranking system still hooked in like I do in my server I have ops hooked in with my permissions so alongside it so you can if you're admin you may not be able to access op uh, commands unless you're opt to but uh, you can uh, there's also plugins that can give you those too you just have to set them up um, but anyway guys I don't want to kind of dig into that too far because I know you guys will get kind of confused um, so anyway, that's it for groups.yml. You can go ahead and save that. And now it's the users. Users is easy. Users simply type in users at the top like we do with groups. You're going to uh, get a colon, enter down. Now it's space out four times. So one, two, three, four. This is where the um, name of your user will go. So I'll just type in my user here, slowmonkey1227, colon, enter down again. Eight, now you're going to want to space out eight times, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay, and now type in permissions. If you want to give them extra permissions that their group does not have, uh, simply type in permissions and then 
uh, give them permissions and I believe you can also take away a permission like if you don't want them to have permission or something you can type in bash and then minus and then whatever you want to do and that will take away the permission I believe I haven't really tried that but I've seen it so that's what I kind of inferred from that um, and then last but not least you want to type in groups I believe it's groups here let me just check that for you guys so I don't give you the wrong info here um, plugins just check uh, my working users here we go alright yes it is groups okay so groups and then colon enter down under the G type in uh, type in a little dash there and then add them to your group uh, I want to be admin on my server I'm admin and then simply save it um, as and when a user joins it should automatically add them into the users.txt so it'll uh, or dot yml so it will uh, say like a guy named uh, derp join the server uh, it will have all this already set up for you except did I copy okay except do, 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 drum roll they will be under the default uh, class that you made the default for now if you want to change them come to your users.yml and you can change them to whatever you wanted to be say I want to be a moderator save it reload the server and boom he's a moderator alright so hopefully guys this helped you out with your uh, users and groups.yml and uh, if you have any further questions which I should kind of hope not but if I didn't clarify something enough in this tutorial uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, hey if this helped you a lot like uh, if it helped you even more than a lot favorite and if you feel like you want to watch more tutorials uh, see more tutorials from me and whatnot subscribe alright thank you for watching guys and have a nice day see ya